you may get glimpses because you have got glimpses of this much bigger side of yourself. You wouldn't be here if you did not. You have had glimpses of it, of something much bigger, something very majestic, something really present, something which is here all the time, something that it really, you're deriving your energy and your juice from because you're feeling the presence, the drive, the force, life, feeling it, really feeling it. And then you're starting to realize I'm not the one who's doing these things. Something bigger than me is operating through me and wants to do something. It wants to do something for someone, give something to somebody. It wants to be selfish at one point. It wants to be out there at one point. It wants to be courageous at one point. He wants to be afraid at one point. Something bigger is experiencing life through me. So if you come to touching it and feeling it and understanding it more, at least you give yourself a chance. You're willing to put your old ways aside and for a few moments, give yourself a chance. And in that, you start to see the awareness is here, okay? Something is always aware, something's always present and something is aware of these feelings of shame shame rises and something is aware of it that I feel shameful. Because this happened for me many, many, many times, many, many, many times that I felt shameful. That I should be behaving differently than I did that I should be thinking differently than I did. Kind of really being happy I wasn't caught on camera. But then what is it that's aware of this shameful behavior? Something is aware of it and reports it. That I am ashamed of myself or I feel guilt. I'm ashamed of myself or whatever, the way I look, the way I present myself, the way, the way, why am I, why am I like this? And when you go deeper in this teachings, your consciousness is arising to the 5D consciousness, the fifth dimensional consciousness, starting to seeing that The big kahuna, the force, is acting through the unit, acting through me, the way, because it wants to experience life. It wants to experience whatever aspect of life is, is acting through it. So simultaneously, because it's infinite, it's infinity, you know, it's, it has no limitation. Human mind can understand it, but we have an infinite being that is acting out through each and every one of you and each and every one of us simultaneously is able to do it. So it's controlling your thoughts, controlling your emotions, controlling your behavior. Everything is being done by that.
So if you understand it and go deeper, then you're off the hook. You're like, oh, I can relax. Because the results, the end game, whether you get up and do this and you don't get up and do it is going to be the same. It's already there. But in the meantime, if it's in your programming to be someone who's active and doing it, you can't sit and not do something. You're going to get up and do it. If you're giving, if you're a person who's giving, that's your programming. You, you always want to give and help because you feel this compassion of sharing. If you're tight and stingy, you always have this feeling like you don't have enough. Your programming remains the same. But the awareness can change. It expands. Programming can change too, but it's not, it's rare. So something here is aware of shame and guilt. Something is aware of these emotions come and go. What is this thing that doesn't change is aware of self-shame or guilt? What is it that this shame is getting compared to? It has to get compared to something that doesn't change. Something that is observer, is the observer. There's an awareness here. That awareness remains the awareness. Any questions? Ms. Hilda, since you brought this up, do you have? Hi. Hi. <laughs> thank you. I got it, I think. It was good. Now I can just relax. Anybody has any questions here? Ms. Candace. Um, yes, if this force bigger than us is creating our feelings and our thoughts, then that must be giving us the feelings of shame. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So why is it doing that? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's to experience. Experiencing things. Okay. Experiencing emotions, experiencing thoughts, experiencing thrives and failure and everything. All of it wants to be experienced through objects. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Connie. Uh, what about the free will? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Yeah, you, but there you, is, then, then there is no free will. Right. I mean, there is the free will in the apparent world. It appears that you have free will. Yeah, but we don't have. Yeah, I mean, you can examine it to see if you have it or not. Yeah, but um, another thing is that uh, a kind of responsibility. Yeah. Is, is it also uh, a kind of nothing I had to, to take care of or whatever? I, I have a missing link. 